Okay, so I know I've been posting projects lately, so this one needs a little bit more explanation than I want to type. So this is, it was a 310, I think it was an SK or an SL, I don't remember, this was like four years ago. But let me explain why the turbocharger did this and why this specific job was important. Anybody figured out what this is? Those of you that don't know, that is an oil pump drive gear. All right, so one thing that DTAC wanted me to do when I submitted this case as a report only initially was this right here. For those of you that don't understand what's going on here, this is the nut that holds on the oil pump drive gear to the shaft, okay? As you saw in the previous video, it was like loose. What I did here was I torqued this nut to specification, okay? And as you can see, this is what they do to keep the nuts from backing off in the factory is they ding these threads. So as you can see, when I torqued it, those moved just a little bit. So this was never actually torqued to specification. This was an issue that they had with quite a bit of these backhoes, uh, the 4045s, is that they did not torque these all the way on the factory so it would get loose. And what would happen is the turbocharger is the last component in the line of the oil, galleys and shit like that, to get oil. It is one of the last components that gets oil in the line of the oil flow. So what it would do is it would not, it would not lower the oil pressure enough to raise a code or a light, but it would starve the turbocharger just enough that it would end up causing failures. And how they figured this out is they had a case a while back that the guy replaced like four turbochargers on this thing before they figured out that this is what was going on. Because the turbochargers kept having catastrophic failures like what I showed you initially. Now, let me show you the engine bearings because I did pull those. All right, as promised, this was one of the rod bearings off of that same engine. Now, as you can see, that's quite a bit of wear, especially considering this engine was nowhere near, nowhere near the amount of hours it needed to be rebuilt. So that was bad. We actually ended up getting a new engine for this backhoe, but yeah, no, no oil pressure codes, no oil pressure light, nothing. The only thing that told anybody anything was wrong was the turbocharger fucking exploded. 